yes now we'll discuss about the cerebellum part 4 in this section we'll discuss about the internal structure of the cerebellum here this section this is sagittal section and this is coronal section of the cerebellum here you can see this is peripheral part of the cerebellum here numerous fissures are present these fissures divides the surface into several lobes these are numerous fissures between two adjacent fissures this is folia this is known as folia this is leaf line this is known as folia and the core of the folia has white matter so in peripheral part this is gray matter and in central part this portion this is white matter so this is white matter this is extension of white matter this is white matter which is present in the core of the folia so this white matter gives appearance of the branch of tree this is also known as arbor vitae cerebellum this this branching pattern this is known as arbor vitae cerebellum a tree of life this is known as tree of life so here this is folia and here the tree like appearance is known as arbor vitae a tree of the life if you see from superficial to deep superficial part here this is cerebral cortex which is made up of gray matter this is cerebral cortex which is made up of gray matter this is cerebellar cortex in this diagram this peripheral part the thin layer of the cerebral cortex this is thin layer of the gray matter this is cerebral cortex and this part this is white matter so it is it has gray matter which is like outside outer side and also gray matter lies here form the nuclei these are several nuclei which is present within the substance of the white matter so this is white matter this is white matter which is made up of nerve fibers and this is gray matter so here you can see gray matter from the peripheral part that is cerebral cortex and nuclei there are four nuclei dentate nucleus this is globosus emboliform sorry dentate emboliform this is dentate emboliform globosus and fastigia these are four nuclei dentate emboliform globosus and fastigia so these are four nuclei from peripheral to central sides morphologically these nuclei are concerned with this dentate nucleus is concerned with neocerebellum this is part nuclei of the neocerebellum and these two emboliform and globosus form nucleus interpositus interpositus this is nuclei of the 
paleo cerebellum this is nuclei of the paleo cerebellum this is nuclei of the dentate nuclei of neo cerebellum the emboliform and first tgi both are nuclei of the paleo cerebellum and here is emboliform nucleus uh, nucleus first tgi this is nucleus first tgi this is nuclei of the arch cerebellum so this is arch nuclei of the arch cerebellum so these are the gray matter which are embedded in the white matter and these are nuclei so this is all about the structures from peripheral to central side and i have here discussed the nuclei now we will discuss about the white matter this is white matter in white matter there are afferent fibers there are efferent fibers afferent fibers are coming through different part of the brain and spinal cord and brain stem these afferent fibers are two types these are mossy fibers and climbing fibers these are two types these are the mossy fibers and climbing fibers and this is efferent fiber so afferent are two types mossy and climbing and ander fiber are efferent fibers and ander fibers are intrinsic fibers which connect the different part of the cerebellum like this these are the intrinsic fibers connect the different part of the cerebellum so this is all about the white matter and nuclei of the cerebellum thank you